How do we leverage intelligence to do something productive and helpful? That's the question Samsung put to itself when designing its next Halo Android smartphone, and the result is a handheld that shows you more, listens better, and even plays computer. I'm Mr. Mobile, and this is a first look at the Samsung Galaxy S8. Today's video is brought to you by MintSim. Stick around to the end to learn how to get unlimited calls, texts, and 10 gigs of LTE starting at 20 bucks a month. First, let's get physical. If you took last year's Galaxy S7 Edge and the ill-fated Galaxy Note 7 and threw them into a blender, the S8 is what you'd end up with. That's the best news ever if you care about the way your phone looks and feels. In both its sizes and all of its colors, the glass and metal S8 is gorgeous. In the hand, its fully symmetrical design makes it more comfortable to wield than the S7 Edge, and water and dust resistance have made the jump to the newer model too. The displays feature elegantly curved corners, spilling over the edges like an infinity pool, and they come packing the HDR technology that seems to be 2017's big thing. Those screens are also bigger this year, 5.8 and 6.2 inches, depending on whether you go for the S8 or S8 Plus. Where a 6-inch phone used to be a very unwieldy thing back in the days of the Nexus 6, Samsung has made it manageable by stretching the display vertically, much like LG did with its G6. After several weeks using that phone, the S8 Plus feels pretty natural to me. But it's still large by any measure, so it's good that you've got the smaller option too. You'll sacrifice battery capacity in the move, though, about 15% of it going from S8 Plus to S8. In that case, the wireless charging and fast charging will come in handy, each of which returns this year. And while we're talking batteries, yes, Samsung made clear that the S8's power pack is subject to the new 8-point safety check devised in the wake of the Note 7. True to form, Samsung's bringing a bevy of new features, so let's hit the highlights. A wide-angle front-facing camera with autofocus and face detection, which should bump your selfie game and improved software for blur reduction and low-light performance on the main camera, which uses the same sensor as last year. The iris scanner makes a return on the S8, giving you another way to unlock your phone besides the fingerprint reader, which is now inconveniently located just where the leaks foretold, immediately alongside the camera. Given that the S8 family represents a total redesign, it's disappointing that Samsung couldn't figure out a better implementation here, Get ready for a lot of smudged lenses and awkward fumbling. In brighter news, the software has gotten a sci-fi style paint job with a new wireframe aesthetic that I really like. The physical home button is gone, but its click is not. Tapping the new software home key gets you a haptic buzz, and the switch to soft keys means that finally, finally, you can swap the buttons if you think that back should be on the left, which it should, guys. It should. Why am I dwelling on the details? Because these are the things you're going to deal with every day on the S8. And Samsung's big aspirational features, well, it remains to be seen how well they fare. The biggest of these is Bixby, the virtual assistant that Samsung is so serious about that they gave it its own button. If you're wondering why an Android phone that comes with Google's assistant needs another assistant, well, that's a good question. And Samsung's answer is the same as it always is. This one can do more. In theory, Bixby should be able to field a wider range of commands all throughout the interface. So for example, in the gallery, you can say, rotate this photo or send the last picture I took to my mom, and it'll do it. Samsung says anything you can do by touch, you should be able to do by voice, which is like a huge promise. AI like this is hard even for a company like Google, which has access to a much larger pool of user data. And frankly, Samsung's voice command efforts thus far don't give me reason to be optimistic here. Time will tell. And then there's DeX, which basically turns the Galaxy S8 into a faux desktop computer. Assuming you have a spare monitor, keyboard, and mouse lying around, and you want to spring for the extra cost of a DeX dock. So while it really gets my geek guts going, DeX has some of the same adoption obstacles as Microsoft Continuum. Samsung is a much bigger force in mobile, and it's signed deals with enterprises, Microsoft included, to make DeX-compatible software. 
Still, Dex is possibly most valuable as a demonstration of power. Think about it. Now Samsung gets to say that it has a phone that can become a computer, thanks in part to bleeding edge hardware that should satisfy those for whom top numbers on a spec sheet are the ultimate validation. But look, Samsung's success with the Galaxy line has always hinged more on the millions of normals who will buy the phones. And the impressions I got from an hour spent with the S8 and S8 Plus tell me that they're gonna be huge sellers. Sure, you may be able to get phones that do 80% of this for 70% less money, but the hat trick of carrier financing, eye-grabbing features, and aggressive Samsung advertising will have these in a lot of pockets in a short amount of time. That's my prediction, anyway. No word on exact pricing yet, but here in the U.S., pre-orders open March 30 for three of the five color options and a targeted April 21 release. I'll have much more on these phones in Mr. Mobile's full review. Please subscribe to The Mr. Mobile on YouTube so you don't miss it. And if you need to save some money ahead of the launch, hit the link in the description to go to my sponsor, MintSim.com. You can pick a 6- or 12-month plan and use the discount code MrMobile20 and you'll get unlimited talk and text and 10 gigs of LTE per month for between $20 and $35 per month. MintSim. Premium quality service on a premium quality network for a fraction of the price. Till next time, thanks for watching and stay mobile, my friends.